taken into consideration uh, certain conditioning and habits from the prior set, so it's, it's good to go in order. Uh, anywho, we'll get started. Uh, Rosa Cloud is like one of Rosa's worst matchups, and DeBuzz normally loses to Tweak, so this is pretty good for him. Also means he probably does some pretty good stuff. Uh, I didn't actually watch any of these sets yet. I missed the top 8, because I was at a local, but I watched like the top 32 and stuff like that. Uh, let's see if I can speed this up a little bit. Oh, too far. Okay. Uh, so one thing, real fast, is like stage striking when you do Rosa Cloud. Normally you end up on one of these fun stages because you don't want to play on Smashville against Cloud because, or even Town can be a little iffy as well, because you don't want to give him places to charge limit for free, and also um, Rosalina's primarily want to kill Cloud with edge guards and off the side, so the ceiling doesn't really help you so much. But anyway, we're going to start with Battlefield. Kirahara likes Battlefield a lot in this matchup, and I think me, the Buzz and myself, we both preferred FD for a while, but then t after talking with Kirahara about like the advantages of this stage, I think it's, it's worth trying out, especially for game one. Uh, so you can see you don't you can't really go in too much, but if the cloud is choosing to camp like this, you, you can't really let him get it for free either. Uh, I don't know how frequently like other how other people do their bot analysis, but when I watch stuff on my own, I pause and rewind certain things a lot, so I'm gonna have to bear with me for that. But you see that for this first opening segment, oops. For the first opening segment, Tweak has been running back and forth and he's just charging limit. And normally, when I see a cloud, where did my mouse go? When I see a cloud charging limit like this, what I used to do is, or not used to, like, what generally goes through my head is I want to move like a little bit closer to here. And then if he doesn't do anything, then you kind of rush him down. But what DeBuzz is doing is he's letting Tweak jump around. And then eventually, after like 10 seconds of this, uh, he catches Tweak cornering himself uh, by being determined to camp. So that's a f nice free first hit. And it also kind of shakes when you do that to someone, they realize pretty quickly, especially if they're a top player, that you don't want to actually run around like this. So I think that is actually a trigger to make Tweak more aggressive here. Uh, so he immediately starts going for the cross-ups. But the buzz is actually, he's not approaching at all, he's just waiting. And Keeping himself, ooh, 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 let's look at that. He's keeping himself out of the range to get hit by everything, just barely, uh, which is huge. Um, maybe Tweak could have pressed the advantage here, but he retreats, which is good to note. Uh, DeBuzz picked up on that very quickly. The snare, he backs off early, because you can't commit for that type of thing. And then, this is fine. And then, where was it? It was right there. First thing you need to see is the, right here, the preemptive up air. Where's my like frame by frame? Uh, the frame by frame kind of sucks, but uh, the buzz when you do this short hop up air, you're, you're looking for a jump read and he doesn't get it, uh, but Tweak is jumping as well rather than dashing in. So it makes me think that the buzz probably had the read, he just got it a little slow. Uh, but since Tweak was already thinking about jumping, he wasn't really able to punish. Uh, um, this is just so good regular spacing from DeBuzz. He's always just barely out of range for the move. He doesn't try and punish the back air because you can't. But then he reacts immediately to the nair and gets another hit. Uh, and, ooh. Another important thing. Gets his little hit, follow up. You need to be careful when Cloud is on one of these side platforms because the runoff up air is something every Cloud will do. Every Cloud will do this and it's just so strong for him. So normally if I have a Cloud on a platform here, you actually want to try and see if they do it or not uh, before you go too close because this is going to be a lot of damage for DeBuzz. Well, it wasn't that much damage for DeBuzz. Actually, it is a lot of damage for DeBuzz. Tweak had a lot of uh, options there, but he chose to kill Luma and then continue the assault. So he got 50 and a Luma kill just off that part alone. 
let me go back to how we the buzz made it back um he kind of weaved through the two platforms there to land on the ground when Tweak jumped at him. Catches a badly spaced uh, landing, gets the grab. And now Luma's back, which is good. Ooh, that was really good. Kill him. That was a two frame, right? Two frame, yeah. Okay, this should be it. That was really clean from the buzz. So if we go back to it. Um, it starts with a forward throw. Now, ordinarily, if... Cloud doesn't have limit. What they normally try and do is get to the edge and snap here. But because he did have limit, um, the Cloud is going to try and either make it to the edge or make it back on stage without using a special uh, if they can. So because that's something the Clouds do, uh, you run off like this to stop him from going low and straight to the edge. It uh, triggers Tweak to go high. But then the spacing was really good here for DeBuzz. He doesn't go for a move immediately. He waits for Tweak's response and he gets another hit after the air dodge. So you can just wait and get a good reaction there. So now Tweak has no limit and he's off stage. Or no jump and he's off stage. He still has his limit. Um, what you can do here as Tweak is you can go for an earlier up B. But I think he thought this was safe. Yeah, but the buzz cuts are really good two frame here. Maybe if Tweak held down, it wouldn't have worked, but it's really hard to anticipate that someone would get a two frame like that. And then Tweak, uh, the buzz then reads the double jump very early, outspaces the back air, and that's the stock. So I was really clean by the buzz. Maybe a little sloppy by Tweak by going for the autopilot answer twice, but either way, uh, I think he actually saved Luma there. That dash attack, yeah, definitely killed Luma, then he saved it. Um, one of the cloud nerfs made it so that if you hit Luma with back air at low percent, she'll survive it, or not get tumbled by it. So a little suboptimal, but he ends up killing Luma anyway. <laughs> Debuzz is just running around back and forth. Uh, it's pretty good. Debuzz is very hard to hit <laughs> when there's no Luma, and he doesn't really feel the need to go in or do anything. But Luma gets chain killed. It's one of the most frustrating things about the matchup is that it's very easy for Luma to die repeatedly. And it's also very hard to get back onto the stage, so... Oh, it's so rough. Alright, let's look at the options he picked. Just to show why it's so bad. So you're here. Let me try and get a better spot. Throw it off stage. He gets his limit. Go to the edge. Now when Cloud is like... <laughs> When Cloud is like this, you don't want to get up into him because if he just reacts to the get up and cross slashes you, you could die. Uh, if you roll, the immediate punish won't like kill you, but it's very easy to react to roll. So the only real option you have is to jump um, or hope that they miss the punish. But either way, Tweak misses the punish but then gets hit anyway. So this time the buzz jumps. But this is why... Personally, this is why I don't like Battlefield that much, because when you jump from the edge, you are kind of stuck with these platforms, uh, and they mess up with how you want to land, because it's hard to go up and then weave in. So if you commit too early to up here, um, it's very easy for Cloud to just get a hit, because you have no landing mix-ups and nothing that beats the up air. And now, like, <laughs> you're in this position, and it's very easy for Cloud to chase you. He gets that air dodge, hits it with the back air, like, Cloud just has so many options there. And then you die. So, personally, that's why I don't like Battlefield that much. Because getting from the edge is actually harder than it looks. Um, but, new stock for the buzz. Let's see how he set up that jab. Uh, he lands with nothing. Jab, jab. You space Luma back, and then you land with an air. But he texts in, no punish. And he just preemptively hits the back air. But... The buzz jumped in between the jabs, so what that does for you, the buzz, is this should be a very clean juggle at this point, because if you up air early, you beat out the down air, and you can also kind of continuously up air even if he dodges, and he has no jump. So hopefully this goes on to be something, gets another grab, because he had nowhere else to go. But yeah, he drops it after one, so we got a, a decent string. It can be kind of hard to uh, actually continue against Cloud with Limit. But 
decent enough damage, hasn't been put in a terrible position. As long as you hold advantage state, you can get Luma back, but if Cloud lands, it can be tricky. Uh, uh, stuffed out a short hop, this was weird. So you're rolling around because you don't want to get back here, that's fine. Um, it's a good thing the bus didn't roll here, it's a good thing he ran back. Because right here, after the back air, if you do a basic roll here, uh, you can see he's starting a... He dashes back, but he dashes back in. And it can be tricky if he saw a roll, he might have dashed earlier. But Rosalina's dash makes it so it's... Uh, more options, so Tweak doesn't want to chase as hard. He stuffs out a forward air, interesting choice to go for the forward air in the first place, but Tubuz gets the read. Still trying to sneak his way in. He got hit by a, what, it was like a back air, right? Yeah, uh, barely misspaced that. He didn't really have much more ground, so that was more on Tweak for getting the spacing right. He tries to dash deck the Luma, not enough time, so this is like a, a saving grace for Rosalina. The uh, advantage state got swapped because he was just a little slow. Or maybe he just couldn't have done it regardless, but... Cloud gets rid of Luma like it's nothing, and now, again, you jump from the edge, but you have nowhere to go. So you go back to the edge, and then you jump again. A little slow on the punish, so Debuzz does make it back to the stage. That's basically all you have, is to hope they mistime it. And you can be as sneaky as you can, but it's not really something you have a lot of control over. Uh, that limit. Fades in, goes invisible, fades out during the invisibility. That's not something that can be understated, is how good the invisibility is for mixing up your drift timings. So, Tweak anticipates the continued drift in, the buzz drifts out, goes to the edge. No limit, but again, he's jumping from the edge. Oh, that was really good. Hold on. So, it does that. Jump down air is normally pretty good, but what he does is he actually does a double jump early. Tricks Tweak up with the drift again, so Tweak goes for that. And then he's able to fast fall and land without lag, so he can go straight into the jab. It's risky because if he catch if Tweak catches the drift right over here, if Tweak gets the correct option on this drift, uh the buzz just loses because you get hit off stage, you have no jump, and you get spiked again. But it's a gamble that pays off, and then Hmm, I I think that was pretty, honestly I think that part was pretty bad from Tweak. Normally, all you have to do is cloud, is you go to the edge and you time your upbeat just to snap it. But, the buzz, or Tweak is doing all this extra stuff, <laughs> and he corners himself, so. The ending of that game was thrown away by Tweak, but the buzz capitalized on his openings very well, and he was tricky at key moments. So that's a good start for the buzz. I think I'm gonna have to ask him separately, but I would imagine that the buzz is banning Lilat. Because that stage is booty. And we're going to Smashville. Oh, I don't like Smashville versus Cloud. The, the floating platform gives him free place to camp limit, especially because Tweak uh, showed at the beginning that he was willing to. Where did my mouse go? Tweak showed at the beginning of game one that he was willing to camp for a limit. The buzz took him out of it. Um, so I thought Tweak would just go straight to the platform, but he actually doesn't fade back at all, so it gives the buzz a free opening. Let's see if he makes anything of it. I think that's a dead... Ooh, he misses the background the Luma. So that could have been a dead Luma. Think she pops now? Yeah, so... It's a bit of a moot point. Um... The buzz is just doing such a good job not being scared of anything when Tweak is running around and doing all this other stuff. Because it's very easy to corner yourself as Rosalina when you run around. And you see, the buzz actually does end up in the corner quite a bit. Uh, hello, Steve. He corners himself quite a bit, but he always manages to claim just a little bit of ground before, um... Like, before Tweak does anything, so he still always has that room to dash back. Uh, I think what I do that's not as good of a scout is... I'll run to the, I'll run back when it's good, but then I'll stay at the edge for too long. But Tabuz is always claiming that extra space again, uh, which I think is, is quite good. 
Misses the juggle there. Avoids the dash attack. Misses the punish. That da <laughs> Punishing that dash attack can be super tilting. Um, so yeah, it was a bunch of whiffs from both players. Ends up working out in Cloud's favor. Um, but watch. Like, it was... He'll run back. And he'll, ooh, okay. He ran a little bit forward and Tweak actually caught that one. Okay, and you're dead. Um, how did you end up in that Texas A situation? It's just a forward throw, right? Okay. <laughs> They're rhyming in the title, Big Brain Rosamane? Thank you. Um, it's funny, Devuz actually made a big thing about this like a couple years ago. About throwing people on a platforms for tech chase situations. Uh, you have to DI up so you have time to uh, do an A land or something so you don't end up in a tech chase scenario here. Because uh, if you don't, he also could have gotten up a little bit faster, but Debuzz was super slow and he dies for it. You have to watch out for those platform tech chase setups. They're super deadly. Um, Luma dies to dash attack. <laughs> Game sucks. But watch, Debuzz will just wait here. Ooh. I'm not a big fan of the back air. Maybe it's because he's down a stock that he's playing a little differently here. But an aggressive option throws gets him in a bad situation. And this is where Cloud just... Oh, it's so hard to do anything. One nice thing to the matchup, though, is if the platform's there to help you, it's like when you're only ways out. But even then, even though the platform provides temporary relief, um, it's one thing to immediately get off the edge <laughs> against Cloud, but getting off this platform can still be tricky. Uh, he gets hit on his first way down, comes down this time, and he air dodges off. Uh, yeah, yeah, the buzz beats tweak here. Um, okay, something... I don't know if the buzz was going for it and just messed it up, but you can actually uh, run off an air dodge from the platform and still land with no lag. You have to do an aerial right before you land, but you do have the frames to air dodge off this platform and make it. But I think he mistimes it, so he gets the landing lag, and that gets some dash attacks immediately. That's actually something that's very important to practice. Uh, but how does he make it back? Two cover extends. Okay, yeah, he, he goes for an offstage play, and Debuzz gets through him. But then Tweak immediately hits him anyway. I think this game is a little bit over, but we'll see. This game, this game, I think is super over. Very hard to get off the edge. Just time it. Even if you don't get the immediate kill, it resets the situation. Even if you miss, you're still in a good spot. Uh, Debuzz goes for the cross up that could have gotten him killed, but those are the mix ups you have to go for. <laughs> you lose Luma, get hit for anything, it's... Oh my gosh, this is hard to do anything. Okay, that's cool. So you may wonder, why did the buzz do that? Uh, because obviously, like, you can get punished here and Cloud can get here on this side and still hit you, which he does. But by going under the stage to where the platform is, he can get off the edge a little bit faster. Um, so it's very smart for the buzz to go to the side that the platform is on. And he sneaks off, uh, but Tweak just surprises him with the <laughs> Tweak surprises him with the blade beam, and that game's over. You have to be very on point <clears throat> for Cloud. Uh, big brain Rosamine about all the crazy Twitter stuff. I think people just like to talk. I think it's funny that people pick tournaments where Bayonetta is losing to complain about Bayonetta. Because the Buzz wins the whole tournament. And the one before this one, Leo won the whole tournament. And at the championship, Leo won that. Like, like the the Bayos lose. I think Salem got third at the championship as well, losing to zero. So you have, like, more than one person who is able to beat a whole gaggle of Bayonettas. Uh, but people are still complaining about her. I think that's a little bit whack. But anyway, back to this set. We have... Town and City as the Buzz's counter pick, which I do not like. But at the same time, the Buzz wins. I don't know if he wins this game, but I don't like if uh, if Tweet goes up on one of these high platforms. It's very hard for Rosalina to stop him from getting limit. But based off the pace of the last game, Tweet might not go for that. But even then, it's very hard to kill. Like Cloud doesn't die off the top to Rosalina very often. So the ceiling doesn't really work out. 
Maybe Tweak banned FD and knew that the buzz might not want to go to Lilac. But anyway, it's kind of hard to really make the statements about stages when you don't know what he says. So it's just, I don't like Town versus Cod personally. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. Either way, uh, Tweak has the advantage here. Has pushed the buzz off. I think the buzz cornered himself, right? He didn't. He gave this up on his own. Which is kind of what I'm saying about the platforms. The moment Cloud is up here, charging limit. Uh, I would okay. I don't. Um, I like FD the most because Cloud can't retreat to platforms. After that, I think Battlefield's not that bad. Um, I do think Smashville and Town are the worst stages uh, to deal with Cloud though. So Lilat is annoying stage and battlefield isn't fantastic either but i think fd and battlefield are where you want to play um because if cloud is up here charging limit you you don't have anything to stop this you can jump and pressure but if you miss you end up getting cornered like this and now the buzz is, has to figure out how to get past the pressure here and a lot of it is a guess because you never know when cloud is going to go in so the buzz preemptively jumps to do an attack and now he's cornered himself no good um, and that all came from trying to punish him on the platform and tweak used that opportunity to get down so it's like you either give him the limit or you put yourself in disadvantage trying to stop it uh, either way I do like the part where it turns into FD but at that point you could just go with FD um, not a whole lot yet platform camping for Luma he does get caught out with air dodge oh was that a combo oh let's see hold on so he gets thrown, he jumps to the platform, this is fine. Shield that. Dodge, dodge. The second dodge got caught. Back air, nair, cross slash. That whole thing looked legit. Even if he dodged right... Even if you could dodge after the nair... I'm not sure if you could get enough air momentum to air dodge and not still get clipped by the cross slash. So I think he just... Just got bodied. <laughs> Respawn. Go for the juggles. He actually does kill Tweak off the top here. So he catches what? He catches an air dodge. Catches the air dodge with an up air instead of an up tilt. So it's kind of tricky to sneak the up air in, but you get a better reward because of the way it's set up. Tweak commits to up air or down air very early. So that's a free hit for Rosalina. And then you get a second follow up. Uh, Tweak does DI that the wrong way. I don't know if. I don't think he would have died if he DI'd the other direction. Either way. The buzz gets to even it up. So I guess that's one advantage to town and city, but I don't I still don't think it's that reliable. Clanks with the cross slash. Let me see that again. Goes for it twice. And is that a nair? I'm trying to see what move Luma did there. Because the buzz is running in. So okay, he did a nair. Which clanks with the side B, and then he gets a hit. That's very interesting because I don't understand how he landed. He actually gets hit by one, then the move ends, but the side B kind of like sucks him down onto the ground immediately. I think that's just a, a like a scramble situation. I don't think you can really anticipate for that. Anyway, free hit, only six damage, doesn't really lead to anything. Um, here, this is this is kind of bad from Tweak. He commits to the nair, the nair doesn't do anything, but instead of backing off, he goes straight into the buzz when you don't really have the movement to do anything. He gets hit, and then he does the exact same thing twice in a row. He jumps and then immediately goes back in. Uh, that's like a huge no-no against Rosalina, because now you have no jump. And the buzz might have been able to do that for longer. He gets a really good up smash there, but right here, he's setting up for a back air. Uh, but you don't need to do that. If a cloud has no jump, because if he if you stay directly underneath him, you can just go for the up tilts and the up airs, uh, because cloud doesn't have enough sideways movement to really dodge it, and the up air if you throw it out early will stop the down air, and because we're, you're now in a FD situation where you don't have any platforms, you can continuously juggle cloud as long as he never gets his jump back. But what Debuzz is choosing instead, which it's not a terrible idea, because he wants to convert this into a situation where Cloud goes off stage. But 
it's reliant on Sweek drifting back in to actually set up an offstage hit, when I think if he stayed underneath and kept going for the juggle, that would have been a little bit better. But either way, uh, gets a little bit of damage. Tweak does land because of that, finishes his limit. He goes for another aggressive fair, which gets him punished. Um, that was not a not a great dash attack. Hold on. Jumps, lands here, that's fine. Okay, actually, he thought he had enough frames to punish the up smash, but he didn't. <laughs> so, Luma's fine, you get a free grab, throw him off stage. Tweak uh, does very well by going straight to the edge and then jumping off, so that's all great for him. Yeah, you just jump around <laughs> from the platform, land for free. Uh, Luma's gone, damage for Debuzz at the edge. That was really good. Debuzz has been doing a very good job mixing up his landings with the invisibility from the air dodge. This is like the third or fourth time he drifts one way and then starts drifting in the other direction after he turns invisible. So Tweak is following the initial trajectory, but he hasn't caught on yet that Debuzz is using the invisibility to go the other direction. How long does the Hawaii level up last? I think this Hawaii level up might go the whole way, man. I think it might go forever. Find out. Aggressive dash attack is going for a read, didn't work out. Uh, again, you're on the edge. It's very hard for me to say anything about regular getups because essentially what you're doing, when someone is just waiting here for you, when you're in this situation, the guy's waiting right here and you do regular getup, you're actually just hoping that they miss time. And it's like, you're putting it on them, like, can you punish this or not? Um, and he does, I guess. Like, he, Tweak just doesn't get it. <laughs> so, it's good to go for sometimes, because you don't really have a lot of other options. But if you play against someone, and they, like, you can tell they're on point, this will get you punished every time. And even then... Cloud, Cloud does actually get to do that out of a spot dodge. Is if you dodge to grab, he can just jab you. And other characters can do that too. And you lose Luma and you're back to square one. So regular get up is not great. And he died. What was that? He's at 70. He goes for a grab on the tech roll and does not time it. And he dies. All right. <laughs> Whew. This, you have to be on point with everything. If you just... Even if you know everything you want to do, if you just miss a couple things, you die. It's no good. <laughs> this matchup is no good. Uh, anyway, he's going back to town. Yeah, <laughs> Tweak, Tweak's going to get a full limit for free. It's actually interesting, um, when you're at the start of the game like this, as the cloud, like you get the limit here for free. You beat the approach by going to this platform, but you actually do not need to leave this platform. You can, if you want more limit, you can stay here until your limit's completed and then make your like little journey afterwards. Uh, but Tweet goes for the journey like sooner rather than later. I think you could delay this until your limit's a little bit closer to being full because the platforms aren't going to go away for a while, but he does look to sneak in with the up air. He goes straight back to the plan. <laughs> His limit is like two... It's almost completely charged in the first 15 seconds. Um, but I think Debuzz has caught on to something here from Tweak's playstyle, where Tweak will go in for a hit. It won't work. Go hit. And then immediately after he gets punished, he goes straight back in. And then again, straight back in. And I think that's part of what comes back to bite him here. Good wait with the air dodge from Debuzz. But it still eventually resets back. He catches a short hop here with the up air. I pointed this out in game one. That's very that's a very tight window to actually hit that because uh Tweak's back air had already started. Let me look at that again. So you run Luma's in front, turn around. That's crazy. That's like a game of pixels right there. <laughs> roll behind the neutral getup, down smash is the classic. Roll behind, everyone punish is roll behind every time, man. Roll behind, like, it's like the easiest way to lose. Oh. What part of that jab was the bad part? Oh, it just goes straight for the shield. This is something people don't do versus the buzz in particular. 
Tabuz gets away with a lot of jabs on people's shields, and it's not a real option. If you roll behind it, which Tweak does, it's a free hit. And he gets a dash attack, which kills both of them. But uh, just to really hammer it in, okay? If you ever have the situation, obviously dash attack is fine here. But if you have like a slightly shorter roll, you can actually like walk up and like forward smash her. You can really body her until she's done finishing her jab. Anyway, that's more than a good enough punish for Tweak. As you get rid of Luma, you start your juggle. Debuzz does get a last second back air, which is a short reprieve, but immediately gets found in neutral again. Oh, he got hit. And how does he land? He does the air dodge again. This is this is the money maker for Debuzz right here. Drift one way, start the air dodge, go the other way. Tweak has not done anything about that yet. Catches him off guard with the Luma shot. I like it. I think it's time to pull Luma back. Good. You don't want to play for it too long. You get your hit and you bring Luma right back. Clanks a dash attack with Luminary. That's good. Let's look at that again. I think here, when he does this up air, this is a signal for Cloud to just dash attack. I think that's what he might have wanted, but maybe he got stuck with the shield stun and it ended up coming out as a roll. Uh, but that's going to get punished. I think what he definitely sh wanted was like a run forward. It actually ends up costing him his limit too. It's no bueno. Uh, the buzz misses a punish there. I think he got on a grab. Either way, he, he somehow finds a jab. Let's look at how he got that jab actually. I actually do like this from DeBuzz. So that part was just him being slow. I think he should have grabbed there. But right here, he does this a lot. He just lands and immediately jabs. Because even if Tweak gets the grab, uh, Luma's jab will still come out and block it. Gets the jab and then Tweak. There's the jump. So he jumps and he goes left, goes right, and then he goes left again. Uh, if someone does this like S movement and you catch onto it, this is where you can get really hard punishes because every time you change your direction, you're killing all your momentum. So if you go for this too many times and the person sniffs it out, you are completely cornered because you can't you can't go anywhere else. He's drifting as far left as he could, but if you were drifting right, the up smash will still catch him. So good on to Buzz for calling out the S movement. Uh, gets the stock lead. Preemptively, he preemptively up airs the approach here. So what's he going? He's going for a Nair. Nair comes out pretty quick too, so it's good on to Buzz for getting these so quickly. I think he goes for immediate up air again, but this is the kind of situation you just have to give to Cloud. It's very hard to actually do anything about the down air, so it's better to stay on the ground, I think. It can be hard to tell because sometimes you have time to do the up air and sometimes you don't, and it comes down to whether you have the, uh, it comes down a lot to the percent windows and the rage. So it's very easy in the moment to think that you can link it to another up air, but you can't. Uh, let's look at that. I think the buzz could have gotten a little bit more there. Goes for the sh re retreating up air again. Tweak is not punishing these properly, I don't think. Gets hit there. So these. The buzz is going for these a lot because he's sniffing out the jumps and it's worked a couple times, but I also feel like there's just as many times where he doesn't get what he wants here. And this is where Cloud can run in and narrow, run in and dash attack. He goes for an up air, which isn't a bad idea, I guess, but he misspaces it. It would have been more reward if he got this, but it would have been easier to get the narrow the dash attack. And he gets punished for it. So straight over here. And the moment Tweak DI's it down this way, you know it's going to be a tech chase. Um, but I think Debuzz was just looking for a tech in, and Tweak smartly techs out. But Debuzz ends up catching him running in back anyway. Uh, let me see that. So he goes up here, charges the limit, he realizes the limit's basically full, which means anytime someone gets hit, he's gonna get it anyway. He just goes for the YOLO dash attack, it works. That's a dead Luma. The buzz is off stage, he has no jump. Catches the air dodge, which is good for Tweak. Actually did, I don't think the buzz did it. He drifted the same way, which is funny because every time he drifts back this way, Tweak hasn't been picking it up. And normally what you do versus players is this is like a like a like a super top level thing. Maybe Debuzz wasn't thinking about it as deeply as I'm looking at it. But if you 
consistently air dodge and turn and they never punish it that's the type of thing that in my opinion you just keep doing until the other person shows that they're willing to punish it so either the buzz was being lazy which is possible but it's the buzz so maybe not or he thought that tweak had finally caught on so the buzz offered up a mix-up even though tweak had never punished the other mix-up and as it turns out <laughs> tweak is ready for it so I don't think it's good to offer mix-ups if the person doesn't even look like they're ready to punish it. It would have been a different story if he went for that air dodge mix-up fading back and Tweak like went to punish it and then missed. Then that's a signal that the person was like has caught on to the habit. But Tweak hasn't caught on to the habit at all so there's no reason to continue drifting in. But again like it could have just been a, a lazy thing. Either way I keep doing it. Lands on the platform, lands here. Good, hold shield. He catches, he does the initial up air again. This has been, especially considering Debuzz hasn't really been getting punished for when these don't work. These are pretty safe for him to go for and then up air, up air, that'll do it. Uh, up air. Yeah, that's getting hit by the soft up air when Rosa had rage. That was the killer right there. Uh, you gotta watch out for those, but good situation for Debuzz. Got the two stock. Whew. Drinking that brisk iced tea, an interesting decision. Got his wallet on the table, got his plushies for support. And Tweak has nothing, no water, no anything. Maybe it's down by his feet, but I haven't really seen it. I think water is a very important tech to stay hydrated. Anywho, going in. Smashville. Which leads me to believe that Debuzz has been banning Lilat this whole time. Because then, if Debuzz has been banning Lilat, then Tweak would have been banning FD, which means playing on town makes the most sense from what we had seen before. Anywho, back to Smashville. Gets a random there. Tweet gets to go straight to here. That's a full limit. Smashville's great. He actually, hold on. This is fine. He gets to the limit. But he shields here. Loses the limit. Loses the spacing. This is a little unnecessary. Gotta have more limit, no damage. And then he jumps off the platform, gets grabbed. That was really good from DeBuzz. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so what you see here, reacting to this jump air dodge drift, because he's starting with a jab here, but DeBuzz reacts to this air dodge very, very quickly, and he gets the up air like immediately. Um, actually, hold on. The closer I look at it, I think Tweak had time to do another air dodge, because you see a... You see a move come out here. I think he's starting a back air. Which, I mean, that's still really good for DeBuzz how quickly he got there because it would not be that smart for Tweak to do a double air dodge. So Tweak is doing fine here, but DeBuzz reacts very quickly. This time he avoids the down air. I don't think it's worth it to go for this hit at all. I think you gotta go straight down to the ground. Because as we said earlier, you can't do the second up air here because Cloud can just down air immediately. And DeBuzz is going for a greedy read for it by avoiding it and getting a back air. But Cloud is just OP. Like, you, <laughs> he just drifts right out of it. And now, you have no jump. Cloud is already below you. If he lands here, like, DeBuzz is retreating. So I don't think he's going to get hit for it. But now, Cloud is getting back to neutral, where I think if you don't do anything and you stay as a land shark, you might be able to hold the advantage state a little bit longer. How do I feel about MVG stream quality? I think the stream is fine. And the buzz's Luma preferences. I actually don't know how he feels about the Lumas. Uh, I like the black Luma and the white Luma the most because they're the rare ones. Hold on. So gets up air onto Luma. That's nice. I think he wants the back air Luma, but let me see that again. It looked like he was trying to back air the Luma. But what catches him off guard is that the Luma ends up landing on the platform, which carries her it carries her away a little bit and lets Rosalina act faster. I don't think I think Tweet got caught off guard by that because he was just trying to back her in place. So that throws him off for a little bit. And then Tobuz just gets a double jump read. Gets a second hit while he's trying to get to the ground. And that's that's a free limit. Ooh, and the two frame. And the hit. That's it. That's it. That was a zero death. However. That being said, I still think there was counterplay for Tweak. So obviously this part, 
That part he got kind of screwed over by the platform. Really good two frame from DeBuzz. Obviously counterplay for Tweak is to delay the up B. But I think it's it's fine to say DeBuzz just got a really good two frame there. But when you're in this situation, you have your jump back. I think what you want to do here, and that's the most reliable, is double jump here, air dodge, and then snap the edge out of your air dodge with the immediate up B. He does the jump. But he, he thinks something's going to happen to him, so he cuts his drift off a little bit. Like, he doesn't have the full drift. Instead of, instead of like, committing to this arc, he kind of goes down a little bit and then air dodges. And Tweak has done this a couple times, and, and DeBuzz is ready for it. You're dead. Like, you have to go for the edge snap as Cloud. Um, otherwise, competent Rosalina's can eat you up for that. But either way, like, it's still... Ooh, wait a second. How do you set up that job? So he hits the upper on Luma. Luma's fine here. Okay. I will explain why this works the way it did. So ordinarily, this would have no chance of working because when DeBuzz is doing the forward air, Luma will be caught in the forward air as well. Uh, and you get the grab for free. But what happens is Luma is still recovering from the hit stun, like this. And DeBuzz times the forward air right before Luma's ready to respond. So Luma is not not joining the forward air party at all. So Luma's doing her own thing. And DeBuzz is doing forward air, which means that you can mash A. At this point, Rosalina can mash A. And if anything happens, Luma starts the jab. Uh, which is... Very specific, but it was a very good setup for DeBuzz for timing the forward air at like the last possible moment before Luma would start the forward air as well. So that's really good for DeBuzz, and it sucks for Tweak because his edge guard situation turns into an advantage state for Rosalina. And that that could have been like terrible, but the fact that DeBuzz got that reversal at all was uh, very good timing on his part. Uh, but either way, Luma ended up dying anyway. Advantage state sucks for Rosa. It's really good to wait here. I think the Buzz wants to stall time for the platform to come back. But he does a good job just waiting regardless. He does go for the air dodge trick again. Up, up, air dodge, go the other way. But Cloud's Nair is very large. And since Tweak was already coming from this direction, I don't think it's as effective as going for the mix up when the Buzz is on this side. Or when Tweak is on that side, sorry. Either way, hits him off stage again. Free up around Luma. He's, he's going for the dash attacks, trying to kill Luma, but now... Mm, that's not great. I don't know if it's like tilt or just he thought he had it. Maybe not tilt is the best word, but sometimes when people are down versus Rosalina, they just want to immediately kill Luma. Uh, I think this dash attack was a bit hopeful, I would say. Because the platform is already here. And DeBuzz easily had time to drift. So not only is DeBuzz getting the punish, but Luma's surviving because of the platform. So decision-wise, I don't think that was a great choice. It is good that Tweak DI'd down, because if he DI'd that back throw up, Luma could have come in and there could have been a punish there. But again, DeBuzz does a very good job covering the DI as well, because he just pulls Luma back, waits out the forward air, gets a hit. And... Tweak again, he's been doing this a lot lately. Or not lately, but he's been doing this a lot in the set where he gets hit. And instead of going to the edge, he goes up and then he air dodges at this point. Um, I guess in this situation, the back air is coming at him. And I guess he's going to lose his, lim his limit anyway. But it's just a, a drift he's shown that he, he'll do a lot. And, and DeBus has picked up on it. Either way, Tweak gets for the Luma. DeBus is running. Gets grabbed. And it's like, considering you remember that uh, the buzz zero death tweak, and it's the game is very close to being even if tweak just uh, finishes one of these setups. Free hit on Luma, free hit on Luma. And, oh, he goes straight for Rosa. That's actually pretty smart. And ooh, look, he picked like tweak picked up on it too. Look at this. Yeah, he, uh, he's anticipating the drift back, so. He shows the adaptation here, but <laughs> DeBuzz, is, uh, DeBuzz remains one step ahead. Goes through all the up airs. No up airs here. Can't punish that. Ooh, interesting that DeBuzz tried to punish that back air. 
Cause that that's a safe <laughs> that's a safe back air, and that's easy for. Normally the back air to four tilt is a thing, but tweak goes four tilts the wrong way. I really don't know what that was, but I think if he intended to four tilt this way, it would have hit Rosalina for sure. Unfortunate. Still finds the dash attack, still kills the Luma, so a lot of that ends up not mattering. Let's the buzz roll past him. I think it was the dash attack that lets him back onto the stage, right? I mean, I guess he could have buffered a move afterwards, but this dash attack here, it triggers Tweak to retreat a little bit because this isn't really the spacing you want to edge guard Rosalina at, which then gives the buzz the opportunity here. So that dash attack got him up. Am I recording the VOD? Um, I If I can figure out how to move this to YouTube, I'll move it to YouTube. Um, it should show up in like the stream archive though. So that gets him up for free. I mean, look at that. that shield got very low. He shields one back air. Shields a second back air. I think here Tweak can do a limit cross slash and break the shield. But he goes for an up air, up tilt. Which in fairness, might have, uh, maybe he thought it was going to poke. But I definitely think that could have been a limit cross slash. Break the shield and then charge your limit and get a kill. But again, it's still a good position for Cloud regardless of whether it's optimal or not. And you're dead. So, ends up not mattering at all. I've Rosa, D-Tilt, or Jab? No. It's... It's not. I don't think it is. Because you got the shield stun, and you're hitting Luma. So, you don't actually... You don't get any hitbox from Luma. So, I don't think you get the D-Tilt or the Jab at all. I think F-Tilt cleanly wins. Um, anywho. Look at that again. So yeah, it's basically an even game, despite DeBuzz getting a, a zero death at the beginning. He does the Luma land into roll, which is really nice. Stops the jab, so Luma's safe. Gets a free juggle. Really good. Oh, he's putting on the damage. He tries to go for the frame chat, but... Tweak. Gets under it. Gets the up air. But then how does... Mmm. Gets him with the drift air dodge again. Up air, up air. This should be a very bad position for DeBuzz, because you used your double jump, you didn't get your double jump, or you lost your double jump, you're in a bad position. Luma is tumbling, so she can't help you. Now, what you can do as the Cloud player, I guess you wanted to cover if DeBuzz kept going here, but I think the most reliable option you can do in this situation is you throw an up air into Luma. Because this Luma is still going to survive. So if you hit her again. Um, even if the buzz goes over here and resets. You're still pressuring Luma. And you can convert it into a kill on Luma. Because you can up air. And then jump over here back air and reset. So one option that's guaranteed is you kill Luma. Assuming the buzz goes over here. But if the buzz drifts back in to be aggressive. The up air will get caught on Luma. So even if he drifts back in. Which is what he does. The up air will catch him. So I definitely think the play here was for tweak up air here and then kind of jump here and just up air where the Luma is. And I think it would have caught him regardless. But instead he goes straight for Rosalina. He lands and Luma lands. So he gets back out. And this is another Luma desync. Uh, Luma gets hit by this forward air here. Which means that Luma is not participating in any of this, so when Luma, when Rosalina enters that hit stun, it's like right or it's very hard to explain. But let me try and show how it happens. So Luma gets stunned with the spike, and then I'm not actually sure what the buzz is hitting him with. Is it just a grab? It's just a grab, right? Yeah. Okay. So the buzz tries to grab him for this. But then it ends up trading, which is bad for DeBuzz. But at this point, Rosalina enters the light hit stun from the forward air. And Luma is free to act, which means DeBuzz gets a free attack with Luma. So he goes for the Luma Nair, which is really good. Because it has a little bit of a delay to it. So even if... The delay just throws people off. So DeBuzz went for a pummel, thinking Luma was too far away, but ends up breaking it. Terrible position for him, and he ends up <laughs> that actually won DeBuzz the set. 
That's crazy. Hold on, one more time. Soft forward air, or soft forward air here, enters the light hit stun. He starts the nair, he goes for the pummel. So optimally, like assuming you knew exactly how the situation was gonna play out, uh, you what you wanna do as the cloud is not pummel and just throw immediately. But because he went for the pummel, Luma got the break. And then Tweak jumps very early, which is fine, but he goes straight for the edge. The buzz catches it. That's actually wild that that's the set ender, is that Nair. Um, I think as a general statement, don't don't pummel Rosalina. Uh, obviously, like it's very hard if you're not the Rosa player to anticipate that situation unfolding the way it does. Uh, but I think if you just play against Rosalina and think to yourself, if Luma's on the map, I will not pummel Rosalina, then generally the throw armor will save you from all that. And then it's up being the set. So the buzz played really well. He was catching a lot of the he was catching a lot of moves preemptively, which is very hard to try and up air stuff. Up air the nares, up air the back airs, do that preemptively was really good. He was getting out of disadvantage a lot by drifting one way, entering the invisibility with his air dodge, and using that to drift the other way. And it took Tweak a little too long to figure that out, so the buzz got out of disadvantage a lot. Um, but I think the real killer in the set was how Tweak was recovering. I think his recoveries this set were not great. He would kill off his momentum and air dodge and dip low, and he lost several stocks for that. Who do I think is better versus Rosalina as Cloud, Leo, or Tweak? I think the answer to that is almost definitely Leo, because um, I think... I don't know if Kirahara, I don't know his record versus Tweak, but I think... Yeah, I know. I think I'd still give it to Leo. Even though at Genesis, I don't think Leo's play was super convincing. And I know Kirahara beat Leo at like a weekly or something in Japan, right before Tokagi. But if I'm going to be honest, I, I really don't care about performance at a weekly before a big event. Um... So to get really excited that Kirahara beat uh, Leo, like obviously I'm gonna watch that set and analyze it. But do I really like think it definitively shows anything? Probably not. Like you just can't, there's just no way that you can say that Leo will have been playing his best at a weekly before a big event. So I would definitely say Leo is the best cloud for Rosalina. But at the same time, like, <laughs> Tweak beats the Buzz a lot, and he beats Kirahara a lot. Um, I just think their recoveries were not great. And there were a couple situations that I pointed out where you could have been a little more optimal on your on Tweak's play. But also, that's the benefit of hindsight, and a lot of the situations ended up not mattering that much anyway, because Tweak would still get a good follow-up or something will. Um, but... He was letting he was letting the buzz go for the short up up airs preemptively, and even when he was shielding them, Tweak wasn't getting punishes on that, which lets the buzz keep looking for it. If Tweak showed to the buzz that you can't go for those for free, then the buzz is going to be limiting his own neutral, and he's not going to have that as much pressure. And then uh, I don't want to beat on the recoveries anymore, but the recoveries weren't great. So that was winner semis.